Welcome back to Three Leadership Tips in Three Minutes on a Friday, and uh, Good Friday, in fact. Um, what I wanted to start with this week was um, particularly focused on the, the current coronavirus situation is ensuring that you are up to speed with what's going on um, because there are changes almost by the day or a couple of days in terms of perceptions and new changes being brought in. You know, for example, I was helping a client with furloughing staff a couple of weeks back and you could only furlough um, a person once and re-furlough them. Now I believe you can you can do it multiple times. Um, there's changing views if you furlough yourself as a director. So keep yourself up to speed. There are uh, a few good sources of information around in the East Midlands, for sure. The East Midlands Chamber have got a hub, which I use. Duncan and Topless have got a regular coronavirus update. There's a new coronavirus um, or corona business support group. Um, run by Serena Humphreys predominantly and they're putting out some useful information so make sure you're checking in on the updates so that you're up to speed and actually cross check across multiple sources because sometimes there's different information. Second thought today is about um, not only communicating regularly with this stuff particularly if they're working remotely but showing some appreciation. I was speaking to somebody over the last week who's been more sort of frontline in their work and their senior person had, had sent out a communication, but there wasn't much in terms of appreciation of what people were doing and the amount of stress that people are under at this time. So there's some famous, famous research by Marcel Lasada, a psychologist, that said that um, to actually get your teams performing well, you need to make sure you are giving about three times as much praise, at least, actually, th at least three times as much praise and positive feedback as um, neg negative feedback or less positive feedback. So make sure, especially at this time, if your people are working, whether they're working within your organisation or remotely, that you are showing appreciation for the stress around it because they're dealing with a lot of emotional trouble as well as actually, you know, uh, focusing on doing their job. So it's doubly stressful. And the final tip of the day today is to not get too drawn into reading things like the newspapers and the media at the minute. I've covered this sort of topic before, but actually use it as a time to continue to educate yourself and escape a little bit. I've just been, uh, well, I've just finished a book called Stuck, which is about neuroscience applied to, co applied to coaching. And I'm just about to move on to Leadership is Language, a book written by uh, David Marquette, who did Turn the Ship Around, which I've not read, but I believe is a very good book as well. And this weekend, because it's Bank Holiday weekend, I'm going to be uh, having a bit of a break and reading the Elton John biography. So uh, get some get some books, uh, get on some webinars or whatever, but use this as a chance to educate yourself. And education is a little bit of a form of escapism from everything that's going on in the news as well. So have a great Easter weekend, and I will see you next Friday for three leadership tips in three minutes.